Hi my beautiful gem, thank you so much for being here with me again and welcome back to Ocean Jasper. So I'm here with another pick a card reading to help those of you who are in a situation of no contact with your love interest. So if you feel that um, there's little communication or no communication at all with your person and there's no understanding, uh, this video might help you understand what's going on in their mind and heart. But not only that, we are also going to see what is going to be their next move in the near future. What are they thinking to do next with you? And finally, there's going to be a special advice for you to best handle this situation. So, all I would suggest you to do it would be to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths and picture the person you have in mind and uh, when you feel calm enough open your eyes and see which of these three stones you will feel more intuitively drawn to try not to overthink and not to take too much time because otherwise your mind will start working rather than your intuition um sorry it's getting so bright and and yes, we got celestite in pile number one, amethyst in pile number two, and appetite in pile number three. So whenever you're ready with your choice, you can check the timestamps in the info box below or in the comment section below as well. And start with your reading. So I'm gonna uh, give you as much time as you want. I mean, you can pause the video here if you like. But I'm gonna go ahead now with uh, pile number one. So let's get started. I'm gonna use one single deck for all the three piles, which is the Unicorn Crystal Tarot. Oh, Crystal Unicorn Tarot. Yeah, Crystal Unicorn Tarot, this one. Um, so, pile number one. I'm also gonna shuffle the cards in camera some of you has uh, told me that they really appreciate seeing the shuffle that comes and down so I decided to keep it please and thank you what's going on with their person why are they in a situation of no contact why they, are they not talking to them what's going on with them please and thank you What are they thinking to do next? And what's an advice for group number one who chose Celestite? Please and thank you. and thank you what is the message that they need to hear about this situation of no contact please and thank you okay so we have six cards here which represent what's going on in their mind and heart and why are they not talking to you right now and then we have here another six card to explain what are they thinking to do next what is going to be their next move in the near future and then here in the middle we have a beautiful advice for you so let's place the stone aside so as always remember that this is a general reading and may or may not resonate with all of you also simply just a small portion of the video might resonate with you and not the rest so always always try to follow your intuition and take what feels right for you and leave the rest so do not get too attached to the meaning and if you feel that you would like to receive some more insight specifically about your situation you can always contact me um, and you'll find the info the email in the info box below and you can book a private reading with me but let's get started now so let's see what is in their mind and heart why are they not talking to you first of all we got the two of swords and the judgment so what uh, in both of them are in reverse so let me see if you can see them focused I think so 
So what's going on here is that this person has started uh, feeling some indecision, some uncertainty, uh, especially on the big picture. Okay, um, they probably uh, lost clarity about the big picture entirely, and I sense that this person is really trying to understand what path they need to take. Uh, the two of swords always talk about uh, the inability to make a choice right now and the need of taking some extra time. It's in reverse, so um, I sense that this person um, it's feeling it even more intensely, uh, this need uh, to step away and withdraw and make a choice although at the same time they are resisting this choice they know that they have to make one uh, but at the same time they're resisting uh, and they would rather uh, get themselves distracted uh, and and do whatever else that is gonna uh, bring them to another world you know that is gonna really separate them from these worries and concerns and uh, therefore the judgment in reverse which is um, a huge lack of clarity I sense the judgment when is upright talks about awakening and talks about finally every single step from the past are making sense finally you are learning from the past mistakes Finally, you see what's your purpose, you see what's, your, what's calling you, and there's a huge understanding and a huge clarity. Since it's in reverse, this person is um, resisting uh, this moment of awakening, so they know because something is boiling within themselves, and they know that they eventually need to take time to understand what's going on with them but at the same time so i'm just trying to adjust the light at the same time uh, they're really fearing they're really fearing this moment they're really fearing uh what's on the other side of this wall they know that they have to break it but they're kind of scared of, of what are they gonna see so you know, sometimes, I don't know, this video could relate to many different people and many different situations. So you could be uh, single or dating or, or in a relationship. If it's a relationship, what comes to my mind right now is that some people sometimes um, don't want to look at the troubles, um, at the weak spots of the relationship and would rather keep going on and stay in their safe zone rather than actually uh, facing uh, the problems. So I sense that this person has reached a moment where they understood that, that yes, uh, there are some troubles and there is a uh, uh, need of clarity and a need to make some choice and some changes in the relationship but at the same time they really uh, yeah they're really resisting this and they're not really prepared maybe um, for most of you you've been into uh, this relationship for a long time and and you probably were kind of expecting it but hopefully you were hoping that it would never come this moment but you probably saw them already kind of getting distance lately and a bit weird and like this could be for uh, for the majority of you and and finally finally they block communication or they just um, they just really change it could be that you're still in the same house uh, but there's not the same communication as you as there used to be. So let me see what else is blocking them. There is a three of pentacles and the nine of cups. Okay. So I feel like it's a bit sad to tell you this, but uh, what I'm sensing here is that they're not fulfilled anymore. Uh, by this uh, partnership I mean in the way that it's working right now so uh, they definitely um, they definitely are looking for uh, some changes they would like to so I'm just really trying because I'm in Ireland and the weather keeps changing constantly so it's really hard to keep on top of it 
uh, what I'm sensing here is that this person has lost a little bit of the excitement and the enjoyment of this relationship. Maybe you guys again has been together in a long time and things uh, start being so exciting uh, and adventurous as it was before and maybe you guys are not spending enough time together so most of the interaction that you're having are regarding work or home or the things that you have to do uh, rather than actually enjoying the time together and, and, and having some fun and going outside and taking walks and do the things that you like to do together. So it's like this person is not 100% satisfied anymore uh, because the um, yeah the interaction with you is mostly work related or like practical rather than um, emotional, you know, uh, rather than romantic. So that's what's going on in their mind right now. And maybe they've been like uh, hiding this even to themselves. They were thinking, no, everything is fine. And I, I, um, we don't need to change anything. We're really okay together. But now something started to boiling within themselves, although they, they don't even want to face it. So, okay, what else do we have? A Nine of Wands in Reverse and an Ace of Cups. So, at the same time, because this, as I told you, is the portion of the reading that tells you not only why are they in a situation unaccountable, what's going on and what's going on in their mind and heart at the moment. And what I'm sensing is that this person is actually a bit wounded by the situation, is a bit hurt and still have an incredible amount of love for you. So if you were doubting it, uh, now you know that this person absolutely love you um, but and, and care about you dearly but is not 100% satisfied with things, how things are going on between you at the moment. So maybe this, maybe this person is missing a little bit of um, expressing expressing this love between you two and having more fun and and, and be having yeah being more passionate as well so this person is actually um is actually how do you say is it's a uh, yeah it's hurting it's not like i sense that in this situation in this a pile this person is not talking to you because they lost attraction from you or um, interest they're still very much in love with you and they would like the connection to be stronger and closer they would like you guys to spend more time together and and change a bit the type of interaction that you are having so uh, this I feel that this person actually want to make a change is just really scared of talking to you it's really scared of of facing these problems and 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 voicing them out to you because they are probably really scared of uh, hurting you as well and making you and losing you uh, once they tell you what's wrong uh, in this relationship what once they tell you what is it that they're missing maybe you are a person that work a lot and spend a lot of hours outside of the house and maybe you even bring at home some of your work and there's not much time uh, for the relationship itself and they know that it's really work is really important to you so they don't even want to face it um, or voice it out loud because they know that you can't change much about this routine that you're having so they're really scared of the consequences then because if a problem is not is not um, easy to fix, if it's if it's not possible to fix it, then the consequence would be to go into and take different paths, and they don't want to do that. That's what I'm sensing here. Uh, again, this light. Okay, so let me go on this side now. What are they intended to do next? So in the near future, what are they thinking to do? what could be their next move okay we got two sorry we got two ten here the ten of swords and the ten of pentacles upright 
the tan always talk about completion uh, it talks about a full cycle and it's interesting that here we have both an ending and at the same time there is a ten of pentacles which talk about long-term relationship it talks about fulfillment talk about um, happy home environment and it talks about also financial uh, stability it's a very stable card where everything is uh, on on the right place everything is in place so what are they intended to do next i feel that for the majority of you this person is really intended to change and end how things were working up until now and go towards the ten of pentacles so they really want to have a new fresh start and forget about all the things that weren't working not forget but actually changing them so they're really willing to have yeah a new fresh start and and move on from the ten of swords to the ten of pentacles so uh, since as i've been telling you here they're pretty hurt about how things are going on right now but what are they aiming to is the ten of pentacles where there's a very happy home environment everything is going well there is stability within the relationship stability within the financial aspect the home and everything so they really want to end this chapter of uh feeling unfulfilled and start working on this harmonious state instead okay so let me see what else the wheel of fortune in reversed and the two of wands okay yes it's really ex um, it's really nice because it's basically the same message but even more intensified and clarified by these two cards because the two of wands really talk about projecting oneself towards the future and start planning things for the future and reflecting about the next move reflecting about the next stage of this relationship reflecting about what is it that is in their power what is it that they can change and the wheel of fortune talks about change massive transformation and yeah it's in reverse though here so hmm Probably this person is also quite resisting of changing again. Like they know that there's some change that needs to be within the relationship, but at the same time, when they think about actually doing them, actually talking to you about them, they get a bit um, scared, as I said, because probably you guys are, at the moment are in a safe zone where everything is going uh peacefully in a way although there's lots of hidden things that you guys are not talking about a lot of um, unf unfulfilled desires so yes again like this person is quite resisting it but let me see what else are they gonna do two of pentacles and the lovers okay so they're really gonna juggle about this choice the lovers talks about choice and the two of pentacles talks about doubt and juggling between a choice or another so i sense that for the near future this person is still going to be in this situation on the i mean at least they are going from um a place of really not want to think about it really not want to create clarity within their mind really want to postpone all these problems and not wanting to face them to at least reflecting about them although they are resisting the change and they still uh, don't have much clarity but there is a sun here in the lower so i i sense that at least they turn on the light to go and see within this basement of his soul and check what is it that you want to take what is it that you want to get rid of and and try and start sorting things out in this basement which you know is like that part of the house or that part of which to me is like a metaphor of that part of the soul that 
we don't actually want to look at it because we know that it's, there's a huge mess down there and lots of spider web and lots of dust and we really don't want to look at it but at least it's starting to look at it okay so at least he's giving himself the uh, time to make this decision and is uh is waiting uh, i mean waving waiting i don't know how you say that like you know put put these two choices on a balance on a scale and and trying to weigh them like uh, so at least he's thinking, that's what I'm sensing, and at least I feel that he's determined to go from the Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. He wants to end something, he wants to end this pain, this hurt, this unsatisfaction, um, but yeah, he doesn't know exactly how to, okay? So that's why he's taking so much time, and that's why he's stepping back and not communicating much because a lot is going on in his mind or her mind doesn't have to be a he and and before they talk to you they really want to be sure um what are they gonna propose you what what are they gonna try and change within this relationship so i just need a sip So let me see now what's an advice for you. We've got the hero front in reversed. Okay. With the knight of wands upright and the king of cups, okay. Okay, from these three cards I'm sensing that a good advice for you is to start understanding the level of commitment that you have to this relationship because um, maybe for a portion of you guys you have lost a little bit the enthusiasm and the passion and um, maybe the love or the attention or the interest or the motivation so this card is really telling you to reflect on what is it that has changed within this relationship and what is it that you are actually committed to are you committed to fix this connection are you committed to do some change and do some work or not and they're also the cards are telling you to really um, focus your attention on what is it that you're passionate about so really connect with your spirit um, and understand and also with your heart and understand uh, what type of feelings do you still have for this person and try and build up the emotional maturity to be able to talk about these things with him and not just keep all your doubts within your heart so it's really telling you to make action so if you sense that something is is wrong with this connection then the cards are suggesting you make a move and go and talk to them and try and having a mature conversation about what's going on a mature conversation about your feelings and uh, what is it that you feel drawn from doing um and what are your beliefs as well it could be that maybe you guys are having a little bit of troubles on 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 the belief system that you have um like it could also be that maybe you are not into marriage and this person is getting a bit hurt or is like a bit um I'm motivating and discouraged because they see that there is no progress in the relationship and you guys are not going towards the phase of getting married this could probably this is only for a very small portion of you so the cards are uh, as well they are suggesting you to really try and understand what is it that you're looking for in a relationship and what do you think the next phase should be also they're telling you to try and bring open open to learn and open to um you get more um open to evaluate this connection open to actually admit if there's any mistakes if there's any anything wrong in this connection there this card is telling you to open up your eyes again 
and feel humble like a student again and try and see if there's anything that you guys can work it can work out together but definitely i sense that uh, they are asking you to um step in your masculine energy a little bit here because there's a lot there's a king of cups and then both with the king of cups and the knight of wands um is really telling you um that it's it's up to you right now to um to start a conversation to open up your heart and And I think this person will definitely appreciate because they are in a huge amount of confusion here and they do not want, do not know what to do, do not know what choice to make and feel, as I said, quite wounded. But I, I have this feeling that if you guys are actually acknowledging what's going on in this relationship, acknowledging this distance, it will be like a spark for them because they realize that they're not alone, that they are not the only one realizing that there's something that needs to be fixed or adjust in this connection. So they won't feel as stupid anymore as, and they won't feel so scared anymore at voicing out uh, the unsatisfaction that they're feeling. So they will know that both of you are actually willing to make some change and and talk about and and connect on an emotional level again so that was the advice for you i really hope this video has resonated with you let me know in the comments below if it did and if you enjoy the content of this video or the channel in general do not forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet it would truly mean the world for me and I really want to express my gratitude to most of you for the crazy support I've been receiving lately it has been absolutely unexpected and I'm so super happy so another thing if you would like to receive some uh, daily guidance uh, you can find you can check out my Instagram account it's called Ocean Jasper Terror and you'll find the link in the info box below and you will uh, receive some um, daily pick a card um, yes which are not so much in depth like these ones and most of the time I use oracle cards there but if you're interested you can check it out and I really hope you guys are gonna have a lovely week and I hope to see you guys really soon. Big hug, see you now. Bye bye. Hi guys, if it's just the Amethyst, this is the reading for you. I decided to use the Crystal Unicorn Tarot, this deck, for um, all the three piles. And I'm gonna shuffle the cards in camera as well, since some of you have told me that they appreciate to watch it. So we are gonna ask uh, what's going on in your person, mind and heart? Why are they not talking to you right now? Or why there is limited uh, communication? And, and then we're going to ask what are they thinking to do next? So what is going to be their likely next move in the near future? And finally, there's going to be an advice for you to best deal with this situation. So please and thank you, this is the message for group number two who chose Amethyst. What's going on in their person, mind and heart? Why are they not talking? Please and thank you. What's the message for group number two? Please and thank you. Okay, so... As I lay the cards, I just want to remind you, as usual, that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you, which is why it's really important that you always feel your intuition, always follow your intuition, take what feels right and leave the rest. Also, it could be that you resonate only with a portion of the video and not all of it, so uh, just honor that and take that part and leave the rest and try not to get too attached to the um, result and if you feel that you would like to receive some more insight uh, you can always book a private reading with me and you'll find the email in the info box below there's also going to be the prices so you have a clear idea of what to expect 
and and also if you feel like the uh, pal you chose is not really resonated well with you you can always try again and close your eyes and take a few deep breaths and 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 try and choose another stone or even another video but it's really important that you do that when you feel calm enough so let's see what's going on in this person mind and heart we actually have two beautiful cards here we got the empress and the knight of cups let me see if it's getting too bright um, there so what's going on in the mind and heart and why are they in a situation on a contact with you i see that there is a lot of abundance in this connection there's a lot of um satisfaction about how things are going on and there's a lot of romance as well with this knight of cups so let me see first what are the other cards to just have a better understanding of the bigger picture the moon card the knight of wands the nine of swords there it is and the page of cups okay so sorry you can't see them all so let me just take a moment to understand the energy of this card. I sense that for the majority of you, uh, you guys are not together and maybe this is simply your crush or your dear friend, uh, somebody that you wish to be together but you never showed your emotion to, your feelings to them, um, or somebody that you know that there is an incredible chemistry between you sorry it's incredibly bright to know what's going on there uh you guys know that there is a massive chemistry between the two but you never voiced it out and this person is trying to find the courage to make a move towards you but um there's a lot of worries there's a lot of concern there's a lot of anxiety and sleepless night also i sense that there could be there could be some difficulties from this person to actually be in touch with their subconscious and also with the moon I sense that they are really hiding their feelings, they are really hiding their intention uh, they are not voicing them out loud, they are not making any move uh, so I sense that the, this person is bursting of um, excitement towards you they really want to come forward like if we have a knight of cups a page of cups and a knight of wands all these three talks about making a move making a romantic gesture taking um, you know like charging towards the other person showing their intention their passion towards them and really working towards you but on the other side here we have lots of resistance we have lots of blockages uh, there is um it could be fear it could be just simply anxiety and i sense that this person really puts you up high in a pedestal i think the empress represent you and you just represent everything they ever wish to have and it could be they don't feel enough worthy of you um or they're really shy and they're really worried that they're gonna mess it up and they do not want to mess it up because even just the fact of being able to talk to you and and having you and and yeah having you in their life even just um as friend it's a lot for them so they really do not want to mess it up that's, and that's why they are keeping their intention secret and, and hidden this with the moon. That's what I'm sensing. So it could be that if you saw them coming, uh, if you saw them much more searchable than this, if you felt that there was a lot more communication before that you guys were doing well, maybe this person 
has just realized now that things are getting serious that it's the time for them to actually voice things out loud and make a romantic gesture they know that you're there expecting something to grow and progress and they just feel like oh my god it was so easy to talk and chat and flirt but now that is actually right the time to make a move and and show my actual interest and you know maybe actually start dating together I'm super frightened you know they just got a massive anxiety maybe they just panicked about it okay and it's something that can happen overnight and and you would never expect this from uh, from them but we uh, we never know what's going on in someone's mind like we um, even the person that seemed to be the most confident person in the world uh, they can have panic attacks at night and, and block themselves from achieving their dreams it can happen to everybody so even though you might be surprised I think this for the majority of you this is what's going on uh, this light today you can really tell that I'm in Ireland the light keeps changing every two seconds <laughs> anyway let me see now what are they thinking to do next with you Okay, we got the strength card and the three of pentacles, both of them in reverse. Oh, which talk which talk about actually being a little sheepish <laughs> and and really really shy and really weak and not really this card to me talks about withdrawing and not really finding the courage to speak to you to start this partnership. So um if you wait a second just maybe this is a little better okay so I sense that this person is really in the near future is still in this panic mode so they are not actually taking action and yeah they're really avoiding they're really avoiding making I hope maybe they're avoiding you um, in general like for this amount for a short amount of time like for the near future this is not a reading that tells you the out the future outcome in general is just for the near future so um let me see the knight of swords in reversed and the hanged unicorn in reverse so at least for now at the moment or for the near future for the next week or like for for now this person has is gonna choose the easy the easy path the easiest path this person is gonna uh, pose this connection and is gonna actually run away from it uh, because they feel incredibly sheepish and uh, although they have a huge amount of interest for you and there's a lot of romantic feelings here from two cards belong to the cups and one to the one so there's also an incredible amount of passion and attraction here but they are absolutely denying it or deciding to look away for now because they don't have enough courage to deal with it so then we have the five of pentacles which makes sense and again another card that represents the lack of courage we got the six of wands in reverse usually if the six of wands is upright is a person that feel very successful very proud very sure that they are gonna uh, succeed in their um, in their mission somebody that is so sure so confident of them that they could even make a move in front of lots of other people because they know that they're gonna win uh, but if it's a pra it's it's in reverse so that means that this person is really lacking self-confidence really um, really fearing that they are gonna be rejected that's what I'm sensing and therefore they would rather be alone they would rather abandon the whole situation rather than risking okay so that's what are they gonna do in the near future although take it as it is this is a reading especially for what's going on 
right now and in the near future and not in in the whole year on 10 years ahead so do not get fixated on that this is representing the energy of the moment so i'm gonna give you an advice and see what the cards are suggesting you to do look at the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune in reverse the chariot and the page of pentacles okay the wheel of fortune often talk about change it talks about um time it talks about transformation um it's in reverse though so for a portion of you it could be that this the, the cards are telling you stop giving them time stop giving them another chance cause uh, it is not fair that you're gonna stay there waiting while they are too busy with their ego too busy thinking that um, because fear is all often connected to the ego like uh, fear of not succeed so they are acting um, using their they're acting and following fear rather than the heart and you deserve somebody that is actually fully passionate about you and really brave to come towards you and they uh, they do not care even if there is a risk of getting rejected uh, they're not thinking about their ego getting wounded because it is really w uh, worthy to try even though the chances of being with you would be really low they should not care you know what i mean so you really deserve somebody with that attitude so i sense that for a portion of you the cards are really telling you not to give them time and not to give them a chance for now and just keep going on with your life and with the page of pentacles also like maybe focus on your work and um if you are receiving like a new job offer Take it, focus yourself on it rather than getting distracted by the, the sentimental situation. This is what I'm sensing. Let me see if something else comes out. Yeah, this is what I sense for the majority from these three cards put together. So... I know that it's hard for us to let go of somebody, especially if we know that they have feelings for us and they are reciproca reciprocated. It's really hard to let go, but you have to do it for your own good, at least for now, you know, because if we always give them the, the impression that we're always there waiting for them and that they can take as much time as they want, we will always be available. Then they start taking us for granted that's that's what i believe and it is not it is not good for you and instead i sense also that i believe that um the person wh whoever it is will start valuing yourself if you valuing yourself a lot more so if you decide i do not have time for this I need to um, invest my time in a better way. I cannot wait around somebody that is actually sheepish and really uh, lacking of courage to come towards me. So I better um, do my own things. If you show this to them, if you show them that you're busy, it doesn't necessarily have to be showing off and like making them feel jealous or anything like that, even just on an energetic level. If you, if you radiate this energy of I'm independent, I'm okay on my own, I have loads of other things that keep myself busy, even on an energetic level, the other person will be able to feel it. So step on your feminine energy, be just in a receptive mode and do not chase this person whatsoever. That's what I absolutely would suggest you so yeah let them understand <laughs> let them uh, have their their time to find the courage but meantime do not wait for them okay and <clears throat> and just keep going on with your life that's what i'm sensing here 
so let me know guys if the reading has resonated with you i would love to hear from you so leave a comment down below i will always reply to each of you and if you enjoy the content of this video do not forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't done it yet it will truly mean the world for me and i truly want to thank you all so much for the support i've been receiving lately it's been absolutely unexpected and i didn't even have words to thank you and also what else check my instagram account if you haven't done it yet the link is in the info box below it's called the ocean just for terror and you can find some extra daily guidance there if you need them and they are mainly made with oracle cards and i truly hope you guys are gonna have a lovely week and i hope to see you guys really soon so big hugs to you now bye bye hi guys if you just the appetite this is the reading for you so I decided to use the Crystal Unicorn Tower, this deck for all the three piles and to shuffle the cards in camera since some of you has um, shared with me their preference and so I'd like to please you and I decided to keep it <clears throat> so we're gonna ask what's going on in their in your love interest mind and heart why are they not talking to you right now why are you guys in a situation of no contact or limited contact we're also gonna see what do they think uh is gonna be their next move in the near future so what are they thinking to do next with you and finally there's gonna be an advice for you oh wait a second so please and thank you. This is the message for group number three who chose appetite. Please and thank you. Why are they in a situation of no contact? Okay. So as I lay the cards down, I always want to remind you that this is mainly a general reading, therefore may or may not resonate with you. And you could also feel that only a portion of the video is resonating with you and not all of it. So take what feels right and leave the rest and do not get too attached to the meanings. If you feel that it's truly not talking about your situation, you can always try again and pick another stone or another video and if you feel that it does resonate but you would like to receive more insight about your specific situation you can always book a private reading with me and you'll find the email in the info box below so yes let's get started now we're seeing what's going on so these six cards are gonna talk about why are they in a situation of no content why are they not talking to you what's going on in their mind and heart on this side we're gonna have an idea of what are they intended to do next in the near future and here in the middle we have an advice for you to best handle this situation so here we have the chariot in reverse and the moon in reverse so there is a block in the progress of this relationship or this connection you guys might have been single dating or um, already in a long-term relationship just having a crash it doesn't matter whatever the situation you are so take what resonates again but uh there is there is a block here in progressing so whatever situation you guys are uh there is some impossibility to go to the next phase to the next stage of this connection and there's a lot of things unsaid here with the moon um, so let me just see the other cards just to have a better understanding of the big picture we got the nine of ones in reversed and the nine of swords in reversed and then we got the page of cups in reverse and the ace of pentacles in reversed there's a lot of resistance here. This person is blocked in any level, like is 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 blocking their feelings. 
is blocking their, uh, I mean, he or she, it doesn't matter, you t take, you, you know who we are talking about, but this person is blocking his feelings, is blocking his passion, and it's, it's truly resisting a new beginning here. There is a lot of chance for, I mean, there is a lot of potential between you two for a new beginning, but this person is really, you know, um, pulling the brake. And for some reason, they're really, really concerned, they're really worried. They are in a state of um, having sleepless night and not being able to sleep, thinking about this, really worried and concerned, really anxious. Yeah, I sense a lot of anxious. I can actually feel it within myself, even just having these cards here and they are not talking to you about that they are probably not talking to anybody about this anxiety that is hitting them it's quite similar situation from pile number two uh so as i was saying to them sometimes we would never imagine that a person would have panic attack or anxiety um disorders but um it can happen to anybody and these people are specifically good at hiding it so um i sense that um yeah the major problem here is that they cannot progress with you and they cannot they cannot work on this new beginning even though there's a lot of passion a lot of attraction and a lot of feelings this person is blocking all of it. It doesn't want to talk about his feelings, his passion. It doesn't want to work on this new beginning. And it's just hiding everything that is going on in their mind and heart. They're just hiding it. And probably not only to, towards you, but towards any friends as well. I feel like they're just keeping everything within themselves. And they're not even able to understand what's going on. Why are they so blocked? Uh, I sense that they are having also a huge difficulties getting in touch with their subconscious, with their, with the dark side of their soul, and they're just keeping a lot of things hidden from themselves as well. This could be for the majority of you. For another portion of you, this person is just might have just lost the passion, the enthusiasm, and the feelings might just not feel so motivated anymore. Or something hidden from the past has popped up to the surface and that's why they f suddenly feel stuck. Uh, and they, they don't know what to do anymore. They feel that they have to pause this relationship or this connection. And they can't make the move that they were predicting to do, that they were ready to do. So they're just, it could be that something, yeah, unexpectedly came up from the past. And that's why they're so worried. Because they were planning of making a move, making a romantic gesture, coming towards you. And start a beautiful new relationship. But something came out. And it could be not necessarily related to a past relationship. It could be something related to their in childhood as well or something connected to their mental health as well and it's just really blocking all the beautiful intention that they had uh, all the things that they wanted to do towards you uh, they're just absolutely blocked right now so let me see what are they intended to do next there is a four pentacles in reverse which is a good sign and the three of pentacles this person does not want to let go of you so uh, it's really, really attached to you and really want to work things out and uh, really care and value this connection and this partnership. So they want to work out, work it out and yeah, make things work, but possibly, um, yeah, they really hope that you are going to be patient and and waiting for the moment where they're able to deal with these problems we got a seven of swords in reverse and the lovers in reverse they know that there is a choice that they have to make 
and their instinct is telling them to kind of run away from this choice they're really resisting it I sense that this person is also not being 100% honest is not going to be 100% honest with you about this choice so uh, it could be that for uh, some of you, this choice is regarding a person like a past lover that came out of nowhere, as I was sensing here. And that's why this person does not want to talk about it because they really, really, they really, really care about you. They don't want to let you go. And they probably really attach to this idea of a new beginning with you. So they do not want to mess it up. But at the same time, they have this massive indecision and this important choice to make and they would like to run away from it but they can't they have to face it and they don't know how so it could be that for some of you they're not going to be entirely honest they're not going to tell you what's going on because they're afraid to hurt you they're afraid to upset you then we got the five ones upright and the star in reverse Hmm, I think that this person is really fearing a conflict with you. Uh, so that's why they're not telling you the whole story. They're probably keeping keeping it hidden. Because they're really scared of starting a big fight and a big... Um, they also don't want you to feel that there's competition between you and someone else. So I sense that in, in the near future, this person still has to work out their choice. So um, possibly in this week or the next week ahead, this person is still not 100% sure about what to do. I can tell you for sure that they care about you. They were dreaming about this new beginning and they were ready to make a move. But something external happened which blocked them and they still do not know how to get out of this situation so let me see an advice for you because of course it might be a hard situation for you to deal with we got the ace of wands the seven of cups in reverse and the tower in reverse let me just take a moment to understand what do they want to tell you Well, the message is coming pretty clear here. Um, I hope it's not going to upset you, but the cards are really suggesting you to uh, come out of this confusion state and possibly you are starting seeing some other... Uh, how do you say? You're starting seeing that you have chance to connect with multiple people around you, that you have uh, choices, and maybe you were trying to ignore that before. But the cards are really suggesting you to come out of that confusion and start making your choice and live your life, and and follow follow your passion and do what is it that you're drawn from doing it. So do not. It's really telling you do not block yourself. So if you feel that. This situation is not satisfying you. If you feel that this person has really missed uh, respect you um, and that they, com they they suddenly blocked you out, that there is absolutely no communication with them at all, the uh, spirits are suggesting you do follow your spirit, follow whatever makes you feel excited. So if you feel that there's other people that you're interested in and you were blocking that interest before, now they are telling you come out of that situation and come out of the confusion and live your life and also get rid of old patterns get rid of whatever is not working on anymore so do not be scared of the tower do not be scared of um of creating do not be scared of the chaos do not be scared of uh starting from zero and like even though this might mean that you're gonna see this tower that you were building with this person crumbling down to pieces, just let go of it, let go of whatever wasn't working anymore and just give yourself permission to live your life. 
and follow your um, your enthusiasm, your passions, your spirits. So that's what uh, the cards are telling you to most of you. He could also tell you to kind of talk to them and, and, and tell them that you have understood what's going on and and if they want to grow, if they want to put the seed for a new tree to grow between you two, if, you, if they want to actually have some solid foundation, if they want to grow with you and, and progress within this relationship, they have to come out of their confusion, they have to get rid of whatever is holding them back from the past and get rid of whatever acts is coming up to the surface. So if you feel drawn from doing that, from a person of you, the cards are actually telling you, telling them that it's, uh, it's possible to have this new beginning that they were wishing, that they were approaching, but it's really important for you that they get rid of that confusion and that past that is actually on the way right now. So that was the uh, message for you. Let me know, guys, if it has resonated with you, if it helped you somehow and gave you some insight. I would love to hear from you, so please feel free to leave a comment about your situation. I will always reply to each of your comments. And if you enjoyed the content of this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't done it yet, it would truly mean the world. And I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the support I've been receiving lately. It has been absolutely unexpected and I'm so super grateful and happy. And if you are interested to receive some daily guidance, uh, you can check my Instagram account. It's called Ocean Jasper Terror. you find it in the info box below. And you will receive some daily guidance with oracle cards in case you are interested in that and you can't wait for the next video um, showing up so you can go there and as always if you are interested to know more about your specific situation don't hesitate to contact me about a private reading you'll find the prices in the info box below and that's all i have to tell you i really hope you guys are gonna have a lovely week and i hope to see you really soon big hug see you bye bye now